Hey there, hello my friend, Amner Hunter here from AmnerHunter.com. So the company Oak or Oak Sound released a new plugin, right? This company, well known, a renowned company that created the legendary Sooth plugin, right? So this brand new one, it's called Bloom. And so let's check out what this plugin is all about. Uh, is it even worth it? Uh, because it costs 209 and there is no introductory price or anything like that. Of course, there is a fully featured 20 day free trial. Uh, but uh, anyway, this uh, let's read a bit more about this plugin here in the, the main website. And also I wanted to, uh, since it's, it's sold, it's this plugin, it's sell also sold, of course, uh, I'm sorry, as a time saver. Uh, so I wanted to try it, right? So uh, Bloom, uh, let's see here uh, what we wish an EQ would do. Uh, so it's like a complex EQ um, dynamic processor, uh, spectral uh, pro uh, chaper, and like in real time compression, dynamic uh, EQ, all of that combined, right? Uh, so it says what we wish an EQ would do, control irregularities in a rough sound, Increase warmth, clarity, or brightness in a safe and controlled fashion. Transform the tone of a sound with natural sounding results. Uh, track through Bloom with low latency mode. Okay, so it's available for Windows and Mac. It says here, uh, find your tone with Bloom. So it's a multi-band uh, processor, right? You have control over four bands. Uh, and it, it will sort of equalize everything. It reminds me a bit of the plugin by um, Waves Factory Equalizer, it's called, where it uh, do exactly that. It equalizes everything. So like uh, if uh, the algorithm finds that something is above a certain threshold, it uh, lowers it, it decreases that part of the frequency range or increases it if it's below the threshold, right? So it sorts of put everything flat, I, I think, and you have control, of course, if you don't want to flatten everything, uh, but it sorts of do, does that. Uh, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. You don't want everything like super flat all of the time, of course, but uh, let's uh, test it to see if we have good results. Uh, Bloom is an adaptive tone shaper. It analyzes the character of a signal and applies corrections to the perceived tonal balance for a more even and refined sound. It also lets you shape the tone and character of the track, for example, by adding warmth, brightness, or clarity. And yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering if you, for this price, I mean, we have a lot of other tools cheaper, right? So I just wanted to, to test it. Um, tonal adjustments made with Bloom are dynamic and context aware. Uh, this together with its carefully designed user interface makes the plugin quick and intuitive to use and helps keeps the material sounding natural even with radical changes. Fits the occasion, Bloom boots and cost, cuts frequencies only when needed, helping to mitigate energy buildups and reveal more detail. So I, I believe it behaves a bit like the Waves Factory Equalizer, the, the one I was mentioning it. Um, for example, you can boost the high end on vocals without emphasizing on wanted sibilance. Okay, that's cool. With Bloom, bright doesn't need to mean shrill and big doesn't need to mean boomy. Use it to shape tone with confidence, starting point or finishing touches. Bloom can work as a good starting point when shaping a sound useful for quickly crafting single tracks towards a cohesive mix. It's also equally functional as a bus processor, whether for sculpting groups or sensi sensitively shaping a master. Get your mix up to speed effortlessly or dive deeper to bring the exact sound you envisioned to life, right? So I think uh, the main point of this is that you can mix very quickly, so saving a lot of time, therefore saving money. So yeah, we have uh, make it personal. A good mix is not one side fits all. Bloom can do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, it's like mixing probably 70-80% of the mix with this plugin because it it's also a dynamic processor, not only EQ. 
uh, squash sounds into shape when boulder moves are needed crank bloom uh, mount control to engage squash mode okay so yeah squash is like uh, entering in more of like a compressor uh yeah you can see here the sort of like the gain reduction i i think uh with squash engaged bloom applies frequency dependent upward and downward compression yeah you have compression from the bottom up and from the top down uh, to reduce the dynamic range of uh, the signal molded it towards the specific specified shape use it to solely bring out detail or dramatically over emphasize it adding grit without saturation so okay what is exactly in addition to being a quick broad strokes eq2 bloom can be thought of as our take on a color box it can give a character glue or grit to your sound in way that fits your vision all right so yeah let's uh Let's uh, check it out, this plugin here on, on a mix. Uh, let's mix quickly. But before we go, uh, I have a main channel, Amner Hunter, and my website, amnerhunter.com, uh, where I have a lot of free resources in case that you're interested, some free PDF guides and eBooks, uh, also some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And also uh, my main channel, is uh, mostly about free resources and deals this channel i'm gonna use it uh, this amner hunter 2 i'm gonna use it for more like uh some plugins that i don't i don't get to test or review on the other channel right um so yeah let's uh go here to my daw and let's work with this plugin right away okay so There you go so you should be seeing my um, reaper windows right so this is the song i'm gonna mix as quickly as possible right it has a distorted part Sort of like a new metal uh, kind of vibe, right? So let's uh, check out the drums here. Let's solo the drums and let's engage Bloom quickly here. Okay, so it's already doing something here. Let's. Okay. So before. After. Okay, we have an attack and release. It will react faster to the transient information. I don't want it to react that fast to transients. Okay, let's. Uh, we can listen in. Listen what is happening on the lows. We can emphasize or cut with this, right? The high band. Let's say we want more brightness. It will adjust before. It's not adding compression yet till a squash is engaged. It's a pretty uh, punchy drum sound. Okay. Let's also check it out on kick drum. Let's see what Bloom does. Okay, it's reducing some build up here, I believe. Adding some brightness okay let's also test it on snare the point is to mix quickly with this plugin right so it's doing this and also you can ignore 
certain uh, highs or lows with this these filters, right? So for instance, I don't want this to be boosted. It seems that it has an automatic gain compensation as well. Okay. Let's leave it like that before. This is the wet trim to, I guess, set the output, uh, compensate a bit. Uh, okay, so let's also use it on this base. Let's see what Bloom does. Okay, it's reducing some boominess here. I think that's that's a good thing, but let's ignore this boost. Nice, it's a bit of brightness. Probably we don't need a lot of low mid range. It's very subtle, right? Sometimes it's too fast. Well, I'm not sure if the attack will um, cause anything if I don't have the squash engaged. Okay, let's uh, check it out on the distorted guitars. Okay, adding some brightness. We can also use this as high pass filter to remove some low wind rumble. Okay. Bit uh, boomy. Adding some air. Okay, I like it. Uh, let's uh, check it out on clean guitars. Let's see what Bloom does. Let's also apply a high pass filter here. Adding some brightness. I think it's better, cleaner, clearer, a bit more detail in the top end. Okay, and let's use it on synth. Actually, different layers of synths. to get rid of some low wind here, I think. Adding a, a lot of high mids. We can reduce it with this. It's bigger and the low wind. A bit thinner, but I'm sure it can be can work better with the other elements. Okay, and uh, finally, well, not finally, uh, let's check it out Empty on vocals. eyes are still wide open, silent voices calling. Let's also produce some. So hard to breathe, I'm choking. What's the point of feeling Let's some? compress. Empty eyes are still wide open, silent voices calling. That's a lot, so probably. So hard to breathe, I'm minutes. choking. What's the point of feeling something? 
Empty eyes are still wide Before. open. Boomy a bit. Okay, a bit of brightness. What's the point of feeling something? Cause now it hurts so much more. Empty eyes are still wide okay. open. I, I hope not having to not have uh like S's but are too prominent. Point of feeling something Cause now it hurts so much more Okay I think it's doing the job on the top end now, To not bring up a lot of the sibilance still wide open. Silent Sounds bright but not in. shrill So hard to breathe I'm choking What's the point of cool. feeling So as you see something. it's reducing a lot uh, when the SS hit. Empty eyes are still wide open. Cool. Silent voices calling. So hard to breathe, I'm choking. What's the point of feeling something? So, yeah, fairly quickly. Right? Uh, finally, let's uh, use it on the mix bus. Right? Just a bit of minor touch here. What's the point of feeling subtle. Okay, let's finally do a quick before and after all of the plugins engaged, right? So I have the mixer here and let's play the song first without the plugins. With the bloom off, let's turn it on. Okay. More open, clearer, boomy. So yeah, let me know what you think of this plugin. Um, uh, is it worth it? Does does it cost? Does is is it worth the price? Right. Uh, that that's what uh, I was uh, I wanted to to aim with this um, with this video. Uh, well, maybe you can do a Bloom's processing with other plugins, right? Um, compressors, uh, dynamic EQs, uh, saturators, stuff like that. The, the point of this, I think, it's to save you a lot of time and to some people, that's uh, that worth uh, the price alone, right? Uh, 209 bucks for this plugin. Uh, probably for some people, that that is uh, the value. It's uh, right there in the time saving aspect of it, right? So let me know what you think of this plugin. I'm always interested to know your opinions. Before we leave, let me invite you quickly to my website, abnerhunter.com where you can grab some additional freebies such as some free PDF guides and ebooks, some free, free tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out uh, the channel, my main channel, if you want also, or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with tons of content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye.